Charlie Sheen might be getting his own late night show on Fox. Personally, I'd like to see Charlie on Fox News. They could change the slogan to fair and mentally unbalanced. <laughs> Joining me to talk about this and other news of the day is Joe Levy, editor in chief of Maxim Magazine, Lala Anthony, TV personality and star of Lala's Full Court Life on VH1, and comedian Paul Mercurio. Welcome, guys. Thanks so, Joe, nice uh, would you watch a late night show uh, if Charlie Sheen were hosting it on Fox? I would. Uh, that would be the greatest 15 minutes of uh, television ever. Because I think at minute 16, he just collapses. I you think, think so? I th I, come on, a late night show, for real, a late night show. He, first off, it's impossible. He's uninsurable. Second, he would have to actually show up every night. If he's and uninsurable. Third, third, what? third, that yeah. gets in the way of, it's late night, that gets in the way of his porn viewing and having sex That's with true. porn stars? Well, like, that would be a lot of commitment. just do porn viewing on the show. Like, how do you top his actual life with a show? Like, his actual life and everything, his web rants right. are so amazing. Like, what are you going to do on the show? Like, get on a unicorn and ride into a suitcase of cocaine? Like, what are you going to do? There you go. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> don't steal that idea, Charlie Sheen. That's mine for my own show. Don't you think you should do a reality show? Just a reality I show. I think it would be so entertaining. This is the same guy who got one million Twitter followers in 24 hours. I mean, he's very entertaining. We're all watching to see what's next. So I agree with you. A reality show probably would be the best thing for him But, right you know, now. it's funny. You know, he's been acting out, obviously. We all know right. the acting out. I'm sort of tired of already but you know uh, Martin Sheen his father says that he's emotionally a child he's 45 years old and he's emotionally a child but the Menendez brothers were also you know what right. I mean right. Leopold and Loeb <laughs> they were young also I mean I don't know is that an excuse no absolutely not that's part of the problem maybe is that people have been making excuses for him right. since he was 18 because he's a moneymaker and why would Fox want to get in business with him when he just came out of a bad relationship with CBS it's like a second rebound wife going oh no he won't cheat on me not me right. no but the CBS Yes, people want him back. I, I was of course they want him back. He's huge But now. he just said he was uninsurable. He is uninsurable. It's a contradiction. It's show business. No, of course they want him <laughs> back. He's, he, he is the, he's the machine yes. behind their biggest moneymaker, right? So yeah. why would they let him go? I agree. Wherever Charlie goes, we are all watching. <laughs> right. And what about his stand-up show? You know, he's doing 70, oh, yeah. 70 minutes of yeah. unscripted ranting. Kind of like, like The View, isn't <laughs> it? <laughs> but I mean, seriously, are you going to go to see that? You have to earn that. I mean, I understand. You smoke a crack pipe. For one, ever, uh, one hour of smoking a crack pipe equals 10 years of on stage being a comic, I guess. That's how it works, right? Yeah. So in this case, he's got way enough material for several shows, right? But the, I'm I Where is there a comic. crack pipe you can smoke for an hour? Uh, I only know a little Sheen. bit about crack, and I think it's like way less than yeah. an hour. Talk to Charlie Sheen. He can do it. But you know, as a fellow comic, yeah. right, you work years to get to years. that point to work a place like Radio City Music Hall. But and, you know what? Well, you're not a you're not a, uh, a train wreck. He's a train wreck. Wait a minute, so I want, I want, people are, want to watch a train wreck. Are you going to have him on the View? Uh, sure, we'd love to have him. I'll have him see, here. See now, too. that I'll go That's to. A that train I want to see. <laughs> okay, but you know, uh, here's an interesting little factoid about him. There's a new poll out, and more people would vote for him as president than Sarah Palin. What does this say about Sarah Palin? This <laughs> says that she is not a warlock. She needs to get her hands on some tiger blood. She's a goddess, and right? she needs exactly. to start winning. And she can yeah. kill the tiger to get the blood. She okay. will shoot that tiger and get yeah, that blood. Well, what does it say about the people who responded to the poll? I mean, how, how do you? <laughs> What, are they coming out of Piggly Wiggly and they were in a hurry? Who responds to that poll? I don't know who these people are. Like, frankly. it's a choice between, am I going to be laughing at Charlie Sheen or laughing at Sarah Palin? I guess that's the Maybe choice. Maybe they right? just ask one Polish person, and they say, it's a poll. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, if you can't wait for Charlie Sheen's stage tour and you need to see someone crazy, you're in luck. Because here's Randy Quaid performing in Canada over the weekend. I'm talking about workers! Congratulations, Charlie Sheen, you have an opening act. <laughs> okay, so I'm impressed. You know, not a lot of things start rhyme with Star Whacker, and he made it rhyme somehow. Yeah, he, he really did. He, uh, he got in uh, uh, Bounty Hunter, uh, you know, tracking me, star whacking me. I'm talking he about just... whackers, these cheesy star whackers, to hell with those fact checkers, those sleazy star whackers, checkers, whackers, not quite. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I loved it. I loved the song. I loved how he made it all work. If it was like an SNL spoof or something like that, it would have been great. But for him to be serious doing this, there's a problem yeah. here. I mean, yeah. he sounded like Van Mor uh, Van Morrison, uh, uh, Jim Morrison, rather. Not when he sang with the doors, but when he was drowning. Um, <laughs> and, 
and the reality is, like, yeah. he's saying that there are people out there to get him, to right. whack him. Right. Really? Are there criminals that dumb that they're going to go to life in prison whacking Randy Quaid? Yeah, like, no, you can, walk, the, the, you the, can the, walk up to an assassin if you're Randy Quaid and you go, shoot me, I'm Randy Quaid, and be like, let me see your resume. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <laughs> but wait a second. Quaid and his ex, his wife, Evie, right. they say that straw whackers are responsible for the deaths of David Carradine, Heath Ledger, Chris Penn, Ronnie Chasen. This right. Is just, that's just ridiculous. I mean, paranoia, honestly, maybe? Yeah. paranoia, yeah. there's a bigger issue here. We're laughing about it, but there's something really going right. on here that needs to be explored, because for someone to think like that, Something is not right up there. Yeah, I mean, the Quades, the Quades are on the run from some mm -hmm. what appear to be bad debts, allegedly bad debts. Breaking they, and entering. Breaking yeah. and entering right. into a house they used to own. They and say they singing. didn't sell, you know, <laughs> and, and they decamp to Vancouver, Canada, right. where pot is legal. Hello. Right. So Hello. I, I don't think that's feeding the paranoid conspiracies at all. May I read some of the lyrics? Oh, sure. Okay, maybe squeeze your balls with a nylon rope, hang you in the closet like an overcoat, or take you and your lover for a ride so they can stage a murder-suicide. Where did they get my journal? <laughs> Where, how, did they get, how did they get that? Pretty good. You know what impressed me about like that, with that, with that performance was it was in Canada, and it proved how polite Canadian people are. Like, they love America, They applauded, they cheered. <laughs> Americans would be like, you suck, get off. Oh, they're like, oh, we love they're you. They're so happy with their health insurance. Yeah. They'll come for yeah, any that job. And once again, legal marijuana. <laughs> exactly. And there, there is Vancouver. That. Now, Dancing with the Stars premieres tonight with no Gosselins, no Republicans, and they also, don't they realize I need the material here? Come on, get somebody on that show we can trash. It's wonderful, though, that Tiger Woods is back and, and Randy Quaid and Charlie Sheen. I'm, like, so happy. Right. But anyway, um, what about Kirstie Alley? They say there aren't enough big stars. She's a whoa, big whoa, star. Wait, wait, wait. She is big. She's he? a, he's huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can't go any further with this. It's getting I'm, I'm ugly. I'm just saying. She's she is, a big she star. She is. She is a big star. This is going to be her and Wendy Williams. Who yes. knew there was right. enough room on one stage for both of them? Right. There's good. There's good. Oh, sorry, go yeah. ahead. Yeah. That is what I meant. I believe a star is a star to whoever it is. To me, Wendy Williams is a big star, and I'm excited to see what she brings to the show. She has tons of personality. I love her show on TV, uh -huh. so I'm excited for her. I'm excited for Sugar Ray Leonard. I'm excited for Little Romeo. I love like Little Romeo. I used to listen to his music. So there are people that I'm excited to see. It just okay, depends that's who you one. ask. There's this Next. Whole, there's <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> well, this whole debate, too, is uh, centered around comparing it to, like, the Celebrity Apprentice and the stars that are on that show. Yeah. And it's like, well, they have Star Jones, and Dancing with the Stars has Ralph Macchio. It, really? Are we arguing about the level? It's like arguing which is better, type 1 or type 2 diabetes. It's pretty much the same. Like, what? I mean, I don't, I don't understand. Like, we've gotten to this point in our culture where we're arguing about there aren't enough big enough B-level no, celebrities. Dancing, but the, the, no, but Celebrity Apprentice has Dionne Warwick, mm -hmm. and they've got some supermodels over there. They've got, yeah. they've got um, Star. They've they got, got Mar and Marley Matlin. They've yeah. got yeah. Nene Leakes. Like, yeah. A little bit more mm -hmm. the booking over there. And then they have Gary Busey. Mm -hmm. Have you been watching it? I yeah, have. it's great. I just don't think people have the physical stamina to do Dancing with the Stars. It's a lot of work. It celebrity lot Apprentice, lot of work. you sit around and you act crazy and you yell at each other. How much I, I, It's a commitment of time it also. It is a commitment right. of time, especially traveling if you're based in New York, have to go to L.A. I mean, it's a big commitment. I think it's going to be a great, great season. What about you? I just want to see Macho learn to dance by waxing on and waxing <laughs> off. I just want to see him learn now, that Your way. husband is, Laza, is a big bas 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 what does say? basketball star. Yes, yes, he is. Carmelo Anthony. <laughs> so uh, would you ever let him do Dancing with the Stars? I mean, I would, but I don't think he would be interested. Because they love that, athletes Yeah, over that's there. not his kind of show at all. Now, me, on the other hand, we could talk about it, but oh. him, I don't think he would do it. Oh, so <laughs> this is your chance to reveal. Yeah, I, I should be Look at the, the camera and tell them you want I to be on. I should be on the next season of Dancing with the Stars. And I should be... I will make it exciting. And I should be her dance partner. <laughs> <laughs> and I are. am the next American Idol. <laughs> <laughs> not... Okay, a new uh, controversial iPhone, I, uh, what do you call it, app is out. Yeah. I have the iP iPad, rather. It's not the iPhone, it's the iPad. Now, on this app, mm -hmm. you can go there and try to convert from being a, a homosexual to being heterosexual. You think it'll work? It, it works and for me. They, and there's a lot of people, did it? Yeah. A lot of people are protesting this particular app. What do you think? I think they have every right to protest. It's the most ridiculous thing I have ever heard in my life. If someone's gay and has questions about their sexuality, I doubt they're going to refer to their iPad, iPhone app for <laughs> answers. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh huh. You should see this new show, uh, The Book of Mormon, which I saw the other night. Oh, my God. They do a takeoff on 
closeted gays or people who think that they can turn... This is the Broadway show from the South Park guys, right? Yes, that's right. right. It's just a hilarious, hilarious show. But the most, the funniest part is this one scene where they try to, you know, cover up and try to be straight when they're really not. It's just very funny. <laughs> right. That's, anyway. that's actually most of Broadway, right? <laughs> no. No. Most of Broadway really? is out. Really? That got a groan? No, no. <laughs> that got a groan? Because most of Broadway is out. Yeah. It's out. Oh, okay, Joe. Thank, God. thank you guys very much.